Hi there, I've done some updates on our website. I'm gonna get in and uh, update yet the schedule for Iowa here. But uh, I had a conversation with Jay and I wanted to uh, kind of share some information with you guys based on that conversation. I know some of you are taking uh, private lessons with him and there was a discussion that happened related to the passing technique that I'm teaching. Uh, and maybe some language uh, or difference in that passing technique that um, that maybe he's teaching kind of thing. So I wanted to share some information related to that so that we can have confidence in what's being taught and set the discussion aside and actually get down to actually just executing the technique and method that I am uh, coaching. Uh, because I am 100% sure that that is the perfect, accurate, correct method and technique. So um, under here, I put a little section called Methods Proof. Uh, Karch Karai, who is pretty much uh, the singular authority on all things volleyball, has a series of videos that I'm going to share here through the website, and I'm going to encourage all the players to watch these. Uh, these kind of show exactly uh, the techniques that I am pushing. Karch Karai, so you know, is the head coach for USA Volleyball on the women's side, has been so for some time now. I uh, also uh, really a dynamic volleyball player, and I, I think you know if you want to know more about him, you can Google him, and you'll you'll see that uh, he is the singular authority. Uh, but he's not the only authority that promotes this technique. Uh, the technique I'm delivering is practiced and taught on uh, the University of Wisconsin Badgers team. It is also taught uh, at uh, Marquette University. Uh, it is also taught Louisville. So th these are um, well-documented uh, professional like environments and in, in Karch's case, even, even teaching elite professional athletes these same techniques. So um, take a look at some of the videos that are out here. He talks about passing midline versus passing outside the body. In fact, at one point he says in the gym at USA Volleyball, they actually teach the opposite of midline passing. They are teaching that the ball be passed out on the left hip just as I teach. Um, over here, the three-step shuffle with the hips facing the source and freezing on the finish. Uh, that is something that I've been um, teaching and pushing and, and really this is evidence as Karch is teaching other coaches at a camp uh, how to um, teach passing. So it's a great video to watch there. Uh, we've been talking about hit approach uh, this is a, another great video you might recognize on the floor here as Karch was out at Marquette University and talked about creating a big window and where the approach is supposed to originate from. So once again, lending credibility to the methodology and techniques that I'm teaching. Uh, so that if you have any doubts, you know, this should completely erase those. And my attempt here is to move beyond doubt and get to execution in what I'm teaching and commitment in what I'm teaching. A couple other things that I've posted from Karch have to do with uh, mental agility and strength. You know, we saw this weekend that we were bothered by, you know, the working team talking to us or making comments and how that affected our game and the scoreboard in that game. Uh, we had multiple players impacted there. Uh, so I, I think there's a couple of videos that I wanted to share. Uh, one about external influence and uh, the other one internal influence, right? How do we influence ourselves uh, in setting expectations and, and trying to adhere to those expectations um, there? So, uh, and, and being able to compete. We, we've been talking about that with players about making sure we compete not being afraid to compete when the ball is there and you are there in the right space and the right place that we actually go and compete instead of lobbing a ball over into deep six where we know there's a player just waiting to uh, get to it so uh, take a watch uh, we'll see you soon bye